everyone. We are so excited to be here with you for our cocktail mocktail show. We're so excited to share some of our favorite Arbonne drinks with you so you can have a lot of fun but still stay healthy. So Holly, I'm going to pass it off to you. Hi, I'm Holly Rossi and I have cre um, created iced detox tea. And all you do is you steep a few um, tea bags and with, you know, really hot water. And then I poured them over frozen fruit. Uh, I believe it's pineapple, strawberry, peaches, and mango. And a little mint and put it in the fridge for a little while. It's tasty. Yum. Perfect for the summer. Really, all year round. I love that. Steph, how about you? Hi, everyone. Okay, I'm taking everyone to the islands. I have made a protein pina colada, and it's optional to add some rum to it. So we'll post that recipe for you. But I use um, a cup of our vegan protein. It's the vanilla. Awesome, 20 grams of vegan protein. I like to always add the fiber boost in there to get some extra fiber. And then you do a cup of coconut milk and a scoop. And then you do a half a can. You can do a half a cup of frozen pineapple, real like fresh pineapple or even canned pineapple, but I kind of like to do frozen because I can always have it in my freezer and then I don't need to use as much ice. And it is so good and it's good for you. And if you don't mind it turning green, you could add some greens balance to it to get even more vitamins. It will turn it green, but um, so good for you. So cheers. I've personally had that and it is delicious. She makes a great one. So <laughs> thanks Steph. Erin, how about you? Hey there, my name's Erin Taylor, and I'm in Oklahoma, which I love about these times that we can get together for all over the U.S. So sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, I am making a watermelon strawberry fizz slush. So the fun thing about this is it uses our energy fizz sticks, which have some great B vitamins in it. It has ginseng and guarana in it. Such a good energy for you, whether it's morning, noon, or night when you need some extra. So what I did with this, and you can play around with it, but what the recipe I'm going to give is for one serving, but you can always put it in a big blender and make a big batch of it for anybody. So start out with about a cup and a half of ice. I did about a cup and a half of watermelon, the juice of half of a lemon, I love this lemon squeezer from Hamper Chef. Then what you can do is you can do a flavored sparkling water or you can just do a plain sparkling water, but this one is key, a LaCroix Key Lime. And then the last ingredient is our strawberry fizz. So I'll put that in and then I just blend it as one and enjoy it. Such a great thing to have. It's like over 100 degrees in Oklahoma today, so this is perfect. Enjoy. Yum, so good. Laura. Hey guys, I'm Laura Farrar and I'm in North Carolina. And like Erin said, love being able to do these events because we're all over. And I'm going to make a basil berry slush. Um, and this is what it looks like. So all you do is you add about a half a cup of, this is for one serving, about a half a cup of strawberries. This is quite a bit, but <laughs> I was making them for myself and my husband. So I just put it in my blender. And then you, you can add um, ice to make it more slushy. And then since it's um, a berry slush, I'm using our strawberry fizz and um, just what Erin said about our fizz. Great energy there. And I'm putting it in my big blender. And then you just top with water and blend it up and just garnish with strawberry or whatever berry you like and then a few basil leaves, and it's very good for the summer. Beautiful, looks so good. Heather. Hi, I'm Heather Lurie, and I'm in Atlanta also, and mine is a little similar to Erin and Laura's, but hopefully it's a little different. Um, but I already added about eight ounces of ice and water, and then um, you can do pomegranate or watermelon or strawberry um, fizz in there as well. I have a half a cup of watermelon and about four ounces of vodka too. And then mix it up and then you have a delicious drink. 
to share with friends. <laughs> yeah, it looks beautiful. Okay, how about Steph Fisher? Steph, you're muted. I am here. Hello, everybody. I'm super excited to share with you guys just a peach slush. And this is wonderful because my mom and maybe you guys yourself have some fresh peaches coming off your peach tree at this time of year. And so I just sliced up one of those fresh peaches. I put in about a cup of ice. I'm adding LaCroix or you can do any water that you would like to over that ice. And then I am adding a citrus fizz stick to that as well. So I'm adding my citrus fizz stick and then I'm going to blend it up, which will be kind of loud to, to blend it. But I, I think the, the best part of this is putting it in a really cute glass, right? Maybe with an umbrella or some fresh fruit on the side and voila, you got a nice refreshing peach slushy, healthy. Love it. Thank you, Steph. And I'll finish off. So my name is Renee. I'm in Atlanta and I want to take you to the beach. I have the lake behind me, but I'm going to take you to the beach for a margarita or margarita. So I basically filled a shaker cup with water. You could do water or sparkling. When I tried it with sparkling over the weekend, it exploded. So I am now have perfected my cocktail skills. So I'm going to squeeze about a quarter lemon. I decided to use strawberry fizz with this. So I have ice in here. I'm going to shake it up. You should have seen the explosion. It made it right, really interesting. And then I added two frozen strawberries in my glass and it is delicious. If you wanted to make it a margarita, it calls for like exactly just one shot. So just one shot. And we all want to say cheers to you guys. Wishing you healthy cocktails and great time with friends. Thanks guys.